Nico, welcome back to Queen's Park Rangers. How does it feel to be back at Loftus Road? It's a great feeling. Um, I really enjoyed my time last year, obviously. And getting promotion was obviously the pinnacle of the season. Um, and I'm really happy to be back here with QPR in the Premier League. And just a word on that promotion. It's the first time we've actually seen you since the madness of that, that day at Wembley. How special a day was that for you? Mixed, obviously, because you had to come off injured. Well, obviously, it was hard to... Uh, he ruled out of the World Cup, um, but then again, the emotion on, on that particular day, um, Bobby scoring the winning goal, bringing us back to the Premiership, was a, it was one of the highlights, obviously, of a career. Uh, because you work all season really hard, and uh, mid midway through the season, we felt like we almost blew it, and uh, come back strong in the playoffs and win the win the uh, win the win the final, even against the run of play, makes it that much sweeter. The hamstring injury you picked up at Wembley, there was always a risk for you going into that game that you may pick up the injury, you may aggravate it because you were struggling in the lead-up to it, and you knew that would effectively rule, out, rule you out of the World Cup. It was a massive decision for you. Oh, no, I felt, uh, I felt good. Um, I trained the, the two training sessions before, so I thought everything was in order. And I, didn't, I never think about that, you know. I think uh, I always give my all for any club I play for. And I really felt a, a special emotion from QPR and fans, people in the club and everything. And it was never a question for me if, if, if there was any chance of me being fit to, to play that game. Uh, because you work all season. For, obviously, you work all your life to play a World Cup. But um, I always felt positive that I can play that game. Unfortunately, the injury did happen. But like I said, um, I don't regret it. Um, uh, I always did it through my career, and uh, if there's any possibility of me playing a football match, I'm going to do it. You watch the Bobby goal again? Yes, of course. I saw it many times, and <laughs> it gets better and better each time you see it. And so. this is the fourth time that Harry Redknapp has signed you now in your career. There's obviously a, a special bond, and he, he's, a play, he's a manager that seems to get the very best out of you. Well, obviously. I mean, all the signings prove it. Um, I guess there's a, a big trust in between each other. And, uh, he still has faith in, in what I bring on the football pitch uh, and in players that are similar to me. Um, and that is something that I love uh, working to and you do your best to, to, to pay back the, the, the courage he encounters in you. Um, obviously today's football and the, and the premiership especially is uh, much more physical than it was uh, in the past, but like I said, I think I've proven myself in the Premier League already and I'm really uh, looking forward to giving it a good go uh, this time around again. Was it always your hope to return to QPR after we won promotion? Yes, absolutely. And I said that throughout the season last year. Um, I really feel happy here and it's a club where I really want to play and I play with all my heart and uh, I'm really happy that, that, I, that I got the deal done, uh, even being waiting for the last day again. But... Um, it's great, and I can't, get, I can't wait for, for, for my season to start with QPR again. And how much are you looking forward to playing in the Premier League once again as well? Obviously, it's a massive, it's a massive challenge, first of all, for me, uh, not being here for the last two years. Um, still believing in my 30s now that I still have something to prove, uh, obviously foremost for myself, um, and then obviously to everyone that is a fan or was a fan of me. And uh, it's, it's a big challenge that I'm looking forward to. And you had a special relationship as well with the QPR fans. I think they'll be pleased they can do the Charlie Austin, Nico Cranchar song again. It'd be great to play in front of them. Of course. I, I said that they, they were phenomenal uh, getting behind the team, behind myself. Uh, I did have a great relationship and I hope it's only going to get better. And they showed at Wembley with the, how they turned out that the potential for this football club. Absolutely. And I said that, I mean, I can't say it enough. Uh, it feels really like, like a a home here, um, uh, a club that the fans that, that, that are QPR fans, they, they really love it, they're really passionate and uh, I have no doubt this, this, this club is going to be in the Premier League for a long time. And you've just met Sandra upstairs who you played yeah. with for a couple of years at White Hart Lane, another good signing for QPR? Absolutely, everyone knows what uh, Sandra brings on the pitch, off the pitch, he's a great personality to have in the dressing room. Uh, very lively character, character who will cheer everyone up even on the bad days and uh, obviously on the pitch you'll get the full commitment you, you, you can have from a football player so it, I'm 
positive, it's a great signing. For us. And what are your personal targets now for this season? Play as much games <laughs> as possible, not, no injuries like always. And, uh, and obviously the first goal has to be for QPR to stay up. And very finally, are you fit and available for selection? Yes, I am. Welcome back to QPR. Thank you very much.